So I'm going to do a quick video of my own little, little truck. 85K10 Chevy. As you can see, she's in pretty bad shape. And anybody I happen to be watching uh, run into something this bad, uh, try to find another cab. <laughs> Unless you know what you're doing, um, that's the easiest way to fix this stuff. Um, this is, I'm going to fix it. I've got all the pieces to do it. Uh, floor support, cab support, um, floor of the kick panel, inner and outer rocker, inner and outer cab corner and the rocker. I um, guess I said that. But anyway, I cut this side out already. See, and the worse they are, the easier they are to do. I've said this a hundred times, but uh, I mean, you can get to the nitty gritty pretty quick. Um, as you see, this side was about as bad as the driver's side. Um, now I'm down to starting to cut individual pieces out like the kick panel here. Um, one way to find your spot welds, I've got pilot holes drilled. Uh, if they're not obvious to see, um, these down here are a little harder to see. Take a flap wheel and just go across and it'll reveal the indentations where the spot welds are at. And you can drill your pilot holes. Or if, you know, sandblasting will work too, but you know, these were pretty blatant where they were. Um, I'm going to drill all these out so I can get the kick panel out. And proceed to put a new kick panel in. And then the floor support over here. I just cut, you know, cut the bad part off. You don't have to be fancy about it. Then find your uh, spot welds and finish up taking these out. And again, if you can't find them on this side, since I didn't sandblast this, it's just winter time here. Find them on the other side. You know, here they are. They're usually in the same spot all the time. These four here and the two on the other side. Now I'll take the air chisel and you should be able to uh, uh, get these off. So then I'll zip the uh, inner, inner rocker off here. Zip the rocker. I'll probably cut it uh, somewhere right in here. Um, as a tip, I like to leave. Usually they're good up to here. I'll take this rubber stop out. Put the new one on, bolt it to the hole and the new one to this here, right here, and just bolt it so it holds it in place. It gives you pretty much where it's gotta be. Uh, make your measurements before, top to bottom, find a dedicated spot like I did here, right on the ridge, 51 inches to the edge of the rocker. And you measure straight down to the uh, lip of the rocker here. Well, if you got 50, and they're all mostly 51 inches from here to the top on all of them. Uh, and some other tape measurements here. This is to the cab mount uh, support bolt hole, which would be right about here somewhere. Um, 22 and a quarter of the rocker kick uh, both sides. Uh, here now I gotta remember myself what I measured to to rocker kick hole. Oh, okay, that was from actually here to the rocker kick hole down here where the fender bolts on, which would be right about uh, somewhere right in here, imaginary space. So anyway, yeah, this is pretty bad, but I've seen them worse, and I fixed them so. I'll get the top part done, uh, and then we'll flop the, flip it back over once I get the rocker in place, and then we'll finish up the backside, inner and outer cab corners. You can see the, the usual, so that ain't too hard. But I'm hoping to have this truck done this summer. Uh, I don't know if I can put a couple hours on it in my own time this month of January hopefully you know maybe I'll have something to drive this summer so who knows when I got a lot of other client vehicles in here I got to get done 67 GTO there and, uh, there's a convertible Torino a 68 Firebird convertible Dodge Power Wagon 
and another 84 Chevy K10 sitting there. So this is the only time I get to work on my own stuff. But anybody looking to uh, do this on your own, it can be done. Uh, message me or subscribe, and I'll help you out. So, okay, later.